Well, hello, everyone. A couple of items this week. First up, use it or lose it. The tour comes to Alberta next week. Secondly, a recap on the fall tour in British Columbia and Ontario. Third, a highlight of the Ontario Youth Conference. Fourth, a pink flag display for the Inter International Day of the Girl on Friday. And number five, the ARPA store. It's Wednesday, October 9th, and this is Quick Updates. So in recent years, the concept of freedom has become increasingly contentious. On one side, some advocate for absolute unfettered freedom, pushing the boundaries to the extreme. On the other side, some have distanced themselves from the idea altogether, feeling that freedom has become tainted, misused, or weaponized. So amid this cultural tension, the Bible offers a refreshing and grounded perspective, providing a framework that contrasts with these two opposing camps. Biblical freedom is rooted in the reality of sin and evil, of truth, responsibility, and love for others, and it's a freedom that is both profound and practical. Next week, we're in Alberta presenting on this exact topic. So we'll be starting in Calgary on Tuesday, Lacoma on Wednesday, Edmonton on Thursday, and a special event connected to the youth conferences that everyone is invited to in Barhead on Friday. Go to arpacanada.ca slash fall tour 2024. Hey there, it's Ryan here. I'm here with Naomi. We're at the fourth stop of our fall tour, the Use It or Lose It tour. We're here at Oxford Reform Christian School, as you can see behind me. There's people filing in, getting ready for this evening's event. We're really looking forward to it. Uh, again, like I said, it's the fourth event in this tour uh, here in Ontario, and we've had some really great evenings, maybe a little bit smaller numbers, but the people that have come, they've been really blessed by the evenings that we've had together. They've been encouraged, encouraged to go and take action as well. Naomi, what's been a highlight for you at this tour? Yeah, so we've been telling everyone about our Let Kids Be campaign and making it a challenge for individuals to go and hand out 150 Let Kids Be flyers. So last night, a gentleman came up to me and said that he goes on a walk every morning, so could he have some pamphlets to hand out? And I said, yeah, for sure. So it was really encouraging for people to, to grab our stuff and to hand it out. All right, so keep your eyes out for some action items near you and pick them up. Do them in your neighborhoods as well, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you and seeing you uh, down the road. Hey everyone, I am here at Central Park in Burlington and in three days time, we are hoping to fill this whole grassy space behind me with 50,000 pink flags to highlight the reality of sex selective abortion in Canada. So there's still time to sign up. We'd love more volunteers. So if you could help out, please go to arpacanada.ca slash pink flag display. Um, we're setting up at 7 a.m. It should take about an hour. Um, and then taking down at 4 p.m., which should also take about an hour. So feel free to sign up for either, either of those or come throughout the day. Um, anytime you can come would be really appreciated. So please reach out. Um, let me know if you have any questions and we'd love to see you there. So if you're an ARPA supporter, chances are you've seen our shirts and sweaters around and you guessed it, the ARPA store is going to be opening at the end of October. So if you're looking for gift items for Christmas time, you've got your chance to be done with that checklist pretty much right away. Now you might ask, why does ARPA sell merchandise? Well, it's actually not to fundraise. We aim to break even on the store, and the main purpose for it is actually twofold. First of all, it's to equip all of you with a tool to educate the public about issues that you care about. But secondly, and just as importantly, its purpose is to encourage other people in your network to also consider and take action on these issues. So if you wear these shirts to your family Christmas dinner, know that you're encouraging your family members to join you in caring about these issues. So stay tuned. Tuned. We're looking at October 21st for the launch of the store. Go to store.arpacanada.ca. That's it for quick updates. Thanks to you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.